Hey everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. This is an early release. As a matter of fact, the market is still open for just about another hour. The reason why I am getting this video out now is I gotta go take care of something and instead of saying, hey, you know, I'm not gonna do a video, I decided to get this one out real quick. Um, so, as I am doing this video blog, um, it appears stocks are about to close at new record highs across the board. More importantly than that, you know what I'm going to say. If you were to look at the bond market, you remember what happened yesterday? We had a spike uh, with regard to the 10-year and the 30-year. The yield spiked up and the market got spooked, started to sell off. We, of course, did close at new records regarding the Dow and the S&P yesterday. But today, if you noticed, the 10-year... The 30-year are coming back down. The market's kind of getting a little relief here. In my view, the only threat here, the only threat, and I am sure you will agree, um, if, you, if you follow this blog, you know, uh, to, to the market or its stability, because it's going to go in one direction right now, with world central banks who are, are planning on literally going nuclear, is a, is a hard sell-off in the bond market. It's going to happen. And maybe yesterday was a tremor, but I can promise you all the news that we're hearing from uh, the European Central Bank, the Federal Reserve, other world central banks, it's, it's the same. They're all doing the same things at the same time with their respective leader. Uh, and they're getting ready to uh, embark on something that we've never seen before. This, this is going to be beyond, beyond. They have no choice. I think we've all known this moment would happen. Um, and again, they're, they're pushed into a corner in some ways, but this is the goal, the end goal from the beginning. You have to understand, let me put a perspective on this for you. The 2008 market meltdown, the crash, um, World Central Banks used that as an opportunity to, um, I mean, not only, it was, it was engineered. We all understand that. Um, and World Central Banks, all of them are serial bubble blowers. Now, that one there gave them their prime opportunity to step in here and literally start their plan. That is to be the lenders and buyers of last resort. We've watched this manifest itself now for over an entire decade. They never had an exit plan. That should tell you something. Understand, and I'm not just making this up. Look it up for yourself. When world central banks jumped on the bandwagon to print cash out of thin air, add it to a digital screen, buy the debt, buy corporate debt with regarding, regarding the European Central Bank, uh, they never had an exit plan. The plan was very simple. Buy, buy, buy by issuing debt cash that they can print out of thin air. So if you're able to understand just the, the trajectory of, of how, or the timeline, how this has been moving forward, it's just so easy to see what the end game is. It's world freaking domination. Uh, and th they're there right now. And the rest of us are just greasing the wheels. That's all we're doing. Um, and you know, you hear, oh, well, this is this, and this is the real plan. No, the real plan is very simple. Uh, we don't even have to speculate about what it is. It's so easy to see. Um, anyway, so keep these things in mind. So let's just summarize. Uh, as of right now, and I can't imagine it's going to change in less than an hour, uh, new record highs across the board. Uh, with regard to the stock market, no surprise to you. The bond market is the big tell. We've got the longer end kind of normalizing, a sigh of relief. Uh, which is going to be bullish for the stock market. Now, that doesn't mean that Monday the market's not going to give back a little bit. Again, it's a random walk here with an upward drift. Very simple. Um, and we're going to see a lot more records moving forward. The distortions are going to get worse. Capital misallocations are going to get worse. worse. Um, I, I believe we're going to see uh, more attacks on cryptocurrencies moving forward. I mean, look, they've already beaten down hard assets, gold and silver, to the point of, you know, some people are so brainwashed that they actually believe that these are barbarous relics, according to, you know, uh, 
certain people, which I wouldn't even say their names, then it's not even worthy of it, although they're one of the richest people on earth, and world central bankers who are trying to tell you that, um, you know, uh, they're not real money. This is how you, you can put these things together. But the attacks on cryptocurrency and the the real attacks that we've been seeing now over the past couple of days with regard to Libra, I'm not saying I trust Facebook or I trust any kind of a cryptocurrency, but the fact is, these are under attack for a reason. Because again, they're bucking the system. The establishment is, they're getting a little nervous here. I understand. The establishment, which includes the President of the United States, will protect the petrol dollar at all costs, will protect central bank issued notes. This is what they must do. Forget the delusion, because there's still a delusional crowd out there. And I know where they're getting that delusion from, but step back, look at the bigger picture, go back to 2008, put it together a timeline for yourself, and you can understand where we are at, more importantly, where we are going, more importantly, what you need to do uh, to at least stay on the right side of this from a financial standpoint, because we are going to face a moment where this whole thing is going to correct the fair value and we're going to face a resource problem that is going to be biblical. Uh, it's the truth. Anyway, with that said, I'm going to leave you all off right here and right now with my my favorite thing. And this is the real reason why I wanted to get this video out because above all other things, these three things which I'm about to say, and you know what they are if you've been following my blog for all these years, uh, are more important than everything else in my opinion here and I would believe most of you you're ready let's do this together love each other care about each other and be charitable that's it if we all adopt that we'll have a much better world to live in despite the, the, the criminal activity that is going on around us and the merging of world central banks and respective governments it's, a, it's an incredible time we're living in. With that said, I will be doing a market, a look ahead sometime over the weekend. This guy sincerely loves you from the heart. I mean that. Love each other, people. It's so important. I'll see you sometime the weekend.